got sent this the other day. Thought we'd have a quick look. This is the start of it and already we can see problems. Why do people believe in the flat earth theory? One, objective reality is not a theory. Two, why have you put a straw man bullshit representation on the front of your video with edges, waterfalls and discs flying through vacuums? You're mixing up your heliocentric fantasy and getting confused with objective reality, which is what we believe. This nonsense is something your, your lot are pumped out. We were trying to convince you that you live on a ball that's wobbling and oscillating and flying through a vacuum. So already we're off to a bad start, but we will hold this against the fella. Let's see what he's got to say. I'm Dr. Stuart Clark. I'm an astronomer and I'm the author of The Unknown Universe. It, it's so clearly obvious that the world isn't flat. You're looking at a man who's triggered, who's obviously not long paid off his debts for his university education. The ego will not let it go. He'll ignore the substance in favour of a good story. Because it's quite obviously flat, mate. We see when ships um, uh, leave the harbour. If that was curvature, dear boy, we would see ships coming over from left to right. We'd see curvature from left to right on ground level. We never do. We do get obstruction out in a straight line. Call that the convergence point between the sea and the sky. Perspective. The range of our vision. Call it whatever you want. But the substance tell us is not curvature. Water. And the fact there's no curvature from left to right tells us it's not curvature. Remember the globe claim. You're on the top of the ball wherever you are and it curves away equally in all directions away from you. So you'd see that if that's what you were seeing, you were seeing curvature in a straight line out in front, you'd see that from left to right. And if you were seeing it on the ground level, straight out in front of you, you'd certainly see it from an aeroplane. So come on, doctor, wake up, fella. You can see as they gradually um, disappear below the horizon, Oh, you on. Um, you can see if you go up onto a, a, a tall tower or a hill and you see more over the horizon. I agree, you can see further. You're not seeing over horizon like you're looking round a ball. Wake up, please. Uh, all our physics is constructed now. The physics of orbits, actually things going around um, the Earth, is all constructed. Uh, yes, all the physics of... Uh, Orbital mechanics are constructed. Get it? Constructed. They're theoretical orbital mechanics. We never see them. You've never experienced on a direct, in a direct fashion. All you have is stuff on a computer screen that's been constructed about going around theoretical balls. Um, with this, with three-dimensional um, spherical world. And the pictures from, uh, from space show our world as a globe. So if I show my bank manager a picture, of my, a statement of mine with £10 million in it, he's going to believe that, is he? Wake up, fella. Um, and yet somehow, yeah, there are some, some people that still seem to believe um, that the Earth is flat. Yeah, do you know, it's, it's a funny one, old doctor. I kind of choose the things that can be proven. The things of substance, the things I can touch, feel, the things that can be demonstrated. I choose those things, the things that can be observed. I choose those things over photography and a good story. Don't get me wrong, I will use photography if it goes in line with the substance. If it doesn't match the substance, then the photography is inconclusive. Simple as that. So as human beings, we love stories because... There are a group of people who believe they live on a cannibal flying through a vacuum at ridiculous speeds. Yes, they do love a good story. And guess what? You're one of them. Stories make sense of our lives, of our world. They endow it with meaning and they can be understandable. Science is a way of constructing what we hope 
is is a true story, something that is is demonstrably true through experiment. Well, if that's the case, a bit of honesty there. If that's the case, then why the hell do you think you live on a cannibal with water wrapped around it and gases flying through a vacuum? When fundamental facts of life tell you that's impossible. Are you okay, Doctor? But um, as we see throughout the ages, the prevailing scientific theories of the day um, can be overturned as we move to more precise understanding of the universe around us. Mate, the truth never changes, ever. It's always backed by practical reality. It can be demonstrated time and time and time again. It's substance tells us the truth of this place. What you're discussing is the narrative that gets changed by the controllers, the morons that are trying to control us and oppress us and lie to us and that fool people with silly haircuts that pretend they're somebody because they stare at lights in the sky and they have a silly badge on their lapel. They want to be some sort of rock and roll hip happening doctor. Get out of here. And generally speaking, uh, those become more complicated. So there is a tendency um, for people to reject that reality, the science of the day, and just fall back on, on, on comfortable myths. The cheek of this clown. The absolute cheek of this guy. Yes, we reject your CGI. Yes, we reject your Masonic magic tricks. Yes, we reject your ridiculous stories. We only accept real proof that can be demonstrated that is backed by substance. It's morons like you that think I'm driving a tower crane upside down on a spinning cannonball flying through a vacuum. Come on, mate, wake up. And why would anyone trust you why would anyone trust anyone, in fact, with a haircut like that? Get out of here. Things that make them uh, feel at home, things that make them uh, you know, much happier um, that they know what's going on. Maybe this... Um... Another straw man misrepresentation of a pizza dish stuck to the bottom of a bit of rock that's supposed to be flying through a vacuum or hovering this time. Who knows? More garbage from the same people who tell you you're on a ball. This obsession with flat earth, the, the flat earth, is, is, is one of those. Or maybe they're just people who are just contrarian. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things that I find so difficult to get my head around. I mean, I, I really do. Um, my own pet theory is that they're just doing it for comic effect, just to see how far they can push it. Yeah, yeah. We're dealing with morons on a daily basis like yourself who are so ignorant to the actual truth of this place. Yeah, we're just doing it for a crack, dealing with ignorant trolls online, hit piece videos. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it for the crack. Comic effect, great fun. No, we're doing it to wake up people. We're making a stand against the morons who are controlling this place and are lying to us. That's why we're doing it. And we're putting up with not only institutions trying to fool us, but morons like yourself who are quite clearly being fooled. Um, imagine for a moment that, yeah, the Earth... What the fuck's this? Some flat Earth wheel in space now. So we've got a flat Earth disc spinning round like a wheel that's hovering in a vacuum. Who the fuck claims that? That the Earth was flat. Well, um, how much thickness does it then have? These are the... Full exploration, mate. ...kind of questions you'd have to ask. Um, you know, okay, okay, you've got an edge, well... Who says there's an edge? Have you been to the edge? None of us are making that claim. Containment has to be involved because of all practical reality tells us all bodies of water need to be contained. So there needs to be some sort of containment. Who says anything about edges or ice walls or any kind of map? Full exploration, mate. You're suffering from the effects of propaganda and your ego is refusing to accept the truth. Would things fall off the edge? Well... How do you generate gravity to make... I don't even need to involve your heliocentric fantasies in objective reality. 
the things fall? What is it that's actually causing the gravity to make things fall off the... Are things really being pulled, pal? Or is it just their own weight coming down? How does the way things fall suddenly make water change its abilities of always equalising and then suddenly having the ability now to wrap and conform around a fucking cannonball that's flying through a vacuum? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. And you're a doctor. Off, off the end. Um, a flat surface is fairly unstable to the, the other forces. It would, it would be flexible. and. Move. What are you on about? We're not surfing, mate. Moved around. Um, I, I, it's hard to even begin, actually, to talk about what so, what a flat Earth would be like because it's just it's just so impossible. <laughs> Before the start of this video, I would have said a ridiculous haircut was so impossible. I was wrong, and guess what? You're wrong too, pal. Objective reality slaps the silliness and the propaganda out of you. Dear oh dear oh dear, this is the best the globe side are offering up. Morons, parroting, utter fucking nonsense. Stargazers. So okay, so if I want to become an expert on the stars, yeah? This is the globe mentality. I need now to start studying the floor of the earth and I'll gain all the information I need about the stars. This is the mentality of the globe. Fucking insane.